We'll have a look at that. Another clogger. Well, I'm, I'm tired of it. I uploaded two videos some time ago. Links for that videos are in the description. And that fight reminded me of some comments and what some people had to say about that specific issue. Especially that one. First of all, yes, every commander in that clog of videos agreed to PvP. That alone makes them a PvP in that exact moment. Let me show you that clogger from before, how the fight actually started. He deployed his hardpoints, he deployed his fighters, so yes, this is a clear sign that this commander completely understands what is going on right now and he agrees to engage in PvP in that moment. Let me show you some other footage of other commanders. This one doesn't agree, and obviously he don't want to make PvP. This one either, so okay. I had a comment argument with someone who actually deleted all his comments and blocked me on YouTube. He said that this commander's clogging is completely fine because I just ganked these commanders with the flechettes and most of them are unaware of him and that it's completely fine that they clog because of that. Well, so if I fly a shieldless ship against a full pulse laser vet without knowing which experimentals he uses and then if I'm surprised by him using the scramble spectrum, it's okay to clog? I guess everybody gets the stupidity of that argument, right? Nobody is saying that every commander with a quadrillion megajoules shields is a ganker, but when I use flechettes to ignore this quadrillion megajoules shields, I become a ganker. Come on, man, that's just stupid. But just for good measure, I wasn't aware of these modified Guardian plasma charges, so it would have been okay to clog in these moments too. It's hilarious that all the shield tank builders are the first to scream ganker and flechettes are overpowered. I mean, shields aren't? Shields are the most overpowered, unbalanced and broken thing in this game, besides of healing beams of course. Especially when you take into consideration that everything you need to fuck up flechette users are module reinforcements and some point defenses. It's not my fault that most commanders think that shields are everything they need and that they don't care what's underneath them. Besides, I'm not a ganker. I'm the actual opposite of a ganker. I choose my targets. I don't pick easy, vulnerable targets. I don't attack haulers or explorers. I don't fight in a wing. The only thing I do is I outsmart all these shields abominations. But as long as their exploitive behavior is successful, they don't have any problems with it. It just takes one little shield of the ship with two flechettes on it and they feel treated unfairly. Jesus, these commanders. Overall, they would say that abusing shield mechanics is okay, but using unengineerable weapons to outsmart those exploiters is not okay. It's ganking. It's overpowered. All that just motivates me more to get as much of these shield abominations as possible, to build bigger ships with more and more flechettes, just to show them that their shields are useless. And for the end of this video, I got a very interesting fight for you guys. It's not just to show that I like challenging fights. Well, me. <laughs> Well, maybe a bit, but it's a good video to show that there is another option beside of clogging. It's a fight with a cutter equipped with seekers. Usually I have two point defenses, but for tactical reasons I changed the two heatsinks. Even though I'm flying a shieldless ship, I still choose to fight against these seekers, and it was glorious. A good decision and a great stress test for Mark Raid. Have fun and fly safe, commanders.
Catch you later. Catch you later.